Oh my god, no, 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 no. What are you doing? This highway junction is so dangerous. So in today's episode, we're going to be changing out the highway connection and building a more acceptable dumbbell junction, which I'm hoping will improve our traffic flow on and off of the highway and into our city. Hello and welcome back. I'm Jabba Girl Plays City Skylines and it's lovely to see you. Okay, so we're going to start by deleting the industry area buildings and the park assets this side of the railway. This is so that we can make room and create space for a greenway overpass over the highway. And this is going to improve our walkability when we expand our city. And we can make it so pretty. It's got me really excited as I have so many ideas about how we can detail this out with paths, fencing, trees and so much more. So make sure you watch out for my next episodes. The next thing we need to do is select all of the rail line and we're going to lower it down. Oh no, 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 too much. Um, let's bring that back up. Just, just a little bit. Yep, 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 there we go. Um, <laughs> okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, we need to grab the network multi-tool and soften out the slope in these rails to make it look better, more realistic. We don't want our trains travelling up a 20% gradient, do we? And once we build a bridge over it, it will be more of an interesting drive for our sims coming into town. So now it's time we're going to delete the highway where we're going to put the greenway in. We're going to make a small hill, a nice little hill up for our sims to walk over and also for the highway to tunnel into. We're just going to smooth it out just a little bit here. Um, okay, next we're going to grab the network multi-tool and obviously select the right road. <laughs> we're going to make sure it's in tunnel mode and we're going to make some nice little connections under our hillock. We can raise the terrain just a little bit, just a touch and then we'll smooth it out with a little more. And I think we're all done. Yep, yep, that's looking really good. And now we can move on to our highway intersection build. So I'll be back in a bit to show off the finished dumbbell junction and we'll start on the new industrial road layout.
goodness, that took so much longer than I expected it to take. And getting some of those connection curves was just so much of a faff. I thought the network more at all would help me out and would save me time. And yeah, <laughs> I'm still not 100% certain I like all the curves that I got with the network more at all. So let me know what you think down in the comments about them. We're now going to move on to creating an industrial area to replace the one that we've demolished. <laughs> It's going to be a little cul-de-sac, but it will have direct access to the highway. We're going to have a one way in, one way out once you get into the industrial area to stop traffic, you know, getting in each other's way so much. But I think we're going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like, subscribe and bell. It's all free to do. And if you have any suggestions or thoughts on today's build, please feel free to leave a comment below. It's lovely to hear from you. Now don't be shy, go ahead and click on one of my other videos on screen. I hope you all have a great day and thank you for watching.